everyone, I'm Jim Edwards, and I welcome you to the Matt Dollar Show. And the reason I'm here is I am guest hosting for Matt. He has been quite busy with his day job, which is operating his business, Goodfellas Flooring. And that's flooring for your home, uh, office, business, whichever. And if you're interested in anything like that, contact Matt at Goodfellas, G-O-O-D-F-E-L-L-A-S. Just look it up and call him and he'll be glad to talk to you about it, I'm sure. Now, the reason I'm here today is this particular show, I'm going to be talking to a really good friend of mine and a young man you've probably seen or should have seen on Earl Rose Art. And this is none other than the world-famous singing artist, <laughs> Earl Rose. And Earl, it's great to see you, my friend. Wow, it's great to be here, Jim. I tell you, I appreciate it. Now, we're here in another capacity. Usually, I'm behind the camera taping you while you're doing your art shows. That's great. And yeah. that's why it's such a thrill for me today to be here and talk to you and be on camera with you and uh, find out just about what's going on with uh, Earl Rose Art. And there's some other things we're going to talk about on another show, or a little bit later in this one, perhaps. But right now, let's get into the gist of it and tell everybody about Earl Rose. How did you get your start? When did you become an artist? Well, Jim, actually, uh, I don't ever remember not being able to draw something. And that's from when I was a little kid on up. And I, the first money I ever made, actually, was from selling a painting. Selling a painting. And I was hooked. Then. Oh, yeah, well, now, was <laughs> yeah. this something you just thought, well, let me try this as if it works, and it worked? No, I, I guess Norman Rockwell was my hero. Oh, okay, you know? yeah. And, of course, Andy Wife and all the oh, great, sure. yeah. great artists. But, um, well, how did you actually get started? Like, how did you put, put stuff on a painting, uh, do a painting? Like, uh, just a natural talent, God-given talent? And you said, I'm going to be an artist and sat down and became one? Or did you have to go to school? or? What happened? I, actually, I, I took it in school, but it wasn't much. The teacher would read a book while yeah. we was. Oh, while well, you're doing the drawing, drawing or whatever, yeah. yeah. So it did, that didn't help me much, but I actually just studied everybody else's art and tried to actually emanate some of their techniques and stuff over the years. And and you touched on Norman Rockwell as one of your heroes. Uh, you did a painting on the Earl Rose Art Show. It's been, I don't know, maybe it was a couple of years ago. Uh, anyway, I think it was now. Yeah. Anyway, it was an awesome painting because it looked just like one that Norman Rockwell did. Well, they accused me of being <laughs> Norman Rockwell. But it was a salesman, I believe is the name. Yeah, it was a salesman, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That was a good one. That's where the guy was sitting there and uh, putting his fingers through the hole in the bottom of his shoe. Yeah, he, he wore his shoes <laughs> he wore out. His shoes out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of just... Many, many, many great shows that we've done and uh, pictures that you've painted. And um, I just had a lot of fun. We, how long have we been doing this, by the way? Well, I mean, doing the art show. This is the dollar show. Actually, I think this will be our 15th year. 15th year. And, uh, it, it doesn't really seem that long. No, it, it seemed like yesterday. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, I've been thinking maybe uh, a year or two at the very most. But you're such a talent, though, and I just want people to understand and realize how talented Earl is, and if you will tune in, or go to YouTube actually, and then search for Earl Rose Art, they'll see examples of what you've done, they will, yes. and you need to see it folks, so do go YouTube, search Earl Rose Art, and it'll bring up and some awesome pictures on there. And by the way, once they do that, if they see something they like, how could they get a print? If they uh, see something they like on there, they can actually call us or, or just email me and uh, we'll be more than glad to make them a print of it. Okay. Any, anything that we've done over the years. Okay. Now, let's give them a phone number and that way it would be easier for them to just call you and then we can go the email route if we need to. But uh, what is the phone number? Actually, the phone number that they could call is 423-538-538. Eight five six eight, and call any time. We got an answering machine. If we don't uh, answer it, well, we'll call you back. So. All right, and um, anything that you've done, anything they see on YouTube, you can get them a, a a print of it. I used to call it a copy, and I think if I'm not mistaken, my wife Brenda told me it's not called a copy; it's called a print. It is a print. <laughs> so both of you saying it, it's got to be a print. But um, okay, now. Uh, as I understand it, when we were talking many years ago, um, you started out 
uh, as a paying job, was it with the Yellow Pages in Bristol? I, I did. The first job I ever got really was at, at a place called Ellen Berry, and they yeah. done the Yellow Pages. Right, I remember right. them, yeah. And they hired me because I could draw. Uh, and it was a wonderful experience for me. I could draw anything, but at that time I couldn't letter. Uh -huh. And I, with that job, you need to learn how to letter. And it was small lettering. But I did, I learned, I learned lettering from that area, partly from that area, and later on in the sign business. And so it became just something that you were able to grab onto and just go it, with it. It's something I really wanted to do, and I studied a lot at night. Yeah, in other sure. words, it's not like it just happened overnight. Actually, I spent many a night sitting there just drawing <laughs> letters and different designs and stuff. You know. Practice makes perfect. Yes. All right. really. Now, uh, one of the impressive, one of the uh, uh, paintings that you did, or one of the pictures, I should say, that I saw in your early days, um, well, actually, it is a, a, a painting, and it might be on uh, YouTube. It's the one with the Coca-Cola on it. The way that you lettered it exactly like Coca-Cola. I did. Actually, I, I had an art gallery in uh, the mall in Kingsport, and uh -huh. some people from Coca-Cola came by, and I pa actually painted one for the people at Coca-Cola. I don't know where the painting's at now. Yeah. That's what got me interested in doing that. And I also painted one. My daughter has one, and Ruthie has one. Then you've expanded, of course, with your printing, and so many things in the painting that happens that you need to know about. And a lot of times, lettering is one of the most important, depending on the painting, of course. Well, it is in some paintings, you know, mm -hmm. and if you, uh, if you learn both of them, then you can actually do window signs on the buildings that you paint, you know, and it really helps you a lot, to be honest with you. Right. Really? Uh, I've done it, uh, one reason I did it, because you could make more money doing signs back in oh, that day yeah. than you could doing paintings. Sure. You know, so. Because the signs is where the money was. The businesses wanted to sign, and you got to sign, so you made a dollar or two. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Things have changed a bit, I guess, since then. I mean, gotten gotten better. You've gotten better, obviously, after... How long have you been doing this, by the way? Uh, a painting. It's a hundred years. About a hundred years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it, Jim. Yeah. But no, I, I, I can't wait to get up every day. Uh, there's always something different. And I have a few other projects I work on, but... Art is my life, you yeah. know, so I, I draw every day uh, something, you know, I may just be sitting around having lunch or something, I may draw something on a napkin or something, yeah. you know. But, and then uh, later put it on the canvas. Exactly. All right. Well, speaking of putting something on the canvas, let's uh, uh, take a look at some of the stuff you've done. Now, uh, speaking of lettering, I understand uh, you've got a really nice picture in a frame, and then didn't you make... Um, a uh, license tag for Ruthie's car? I, I, is it on the car? You it, got to hit her shot. It is on the it car. It's on the car. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. She made, she made me put it on. Yeah, I was going to say, you got it ready, put it on. And so, well, okay, we'll look at some other stuff too. Now, and, that was interesting because that's gold leaf. Okay, now what does that mean? That's a, uh, actually, it's a leaf of gold uh -huh. that you put on a sign. And it's sort of a dying art. I'm sure there's some artists locally that can do that, but uh -huh. it is a dying art that people are not doing much anymore. They went to the... Is it because it's so involved? Or, it, uh, it is pretty involved, yes. Uh -huh. It takes a, a good while to do it and different steps to do it. And where they can just cut out a plastic gold letter and stick yeah, it on there. Put it Nothing right wrong on. with that, you know. That's, yeah. That's great, but... To do it freehand is the thing. That's... That's different. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, we mentioned about seeing some of your uh, paintings and other things that you do here at uh, Earl Rose Art Painting Room, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's your studio. Yeah, studio, yeah. Exactly. It's his studio. It's his uh, art studio. And so, uh, what do you think? Uh, let's get something out and take a look at it, okay? Oh, we will do that, Jim. Right. Okay, all right, hold on. Here we go. Well. Okay, Earl. Now, we've got an example of one of the paintings that you did, and this is something that I want the people to see, because it fooled me uh, the first time it happened. I'm thinking, I don't remember that. When we were taping the show, 
you did one and you said, well, we'll call this a finished painting. <laughs> and I said, okay. Well, I left and came back the next week. I came back the next week. There was more added to it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't remember painting that. So tell me, tell me how that works. What, uh, what did you do? Jim, this is one that probably you was talking about. Uh, actually, we painted the barn and all the foliage and stuff on the TV show. And then I got to thinking, well, let me add something else to that. After the show was over, I went back and added the uh, tractor with the guy hauling some square bales of hay uh, over to the barn. And then I got to thinking, well, he needs uh, something, and if he's carrying that to the barn, he's going to feed something. So then I came back and put the cattle in there, and uh, now he's going over to feed the cattle. I wish I'd have put a feeder in there also. I may do that one day too. Actually, there's a lot of paintings that I actually go back sometimes, even years after, and put something else in them. And I'll show you another one that I've actually done that to just in a minute. Here's another painting that we done on the TV show. This is the second dragon I've ever painted in my life. I'm not sure what dragons look like. I just sat down and sketched this out, then I put it on a painting. Now, after looking at the painting for a little while, I sketched this bird out. Like you can probably see him a little better here. You probably can't see him here. But I have him drawn down here on the canvas. And when we start back painting the painting shows, I'll paint this bird in there. I don't know if there's a bird that looks like this, but uh, it's a bird that just came out of my head, okay? <laughs> but anyhow, we will do that when we get back to painting the art shows. Well, again, like I said, the eagle and the flag, that's my best painting well, ever. Thank you, Jim. And uh, you were kind enough to uh, make me a print. Right. And of course, I've got it covered up and I'm saving it for a special day. And I'm going to put it on the wall. And uh, as a matter of fact, this 4th of July is when I decided that America, the Independence Day, oh. th that eagle will be on my wall at home. That and uh, anybody who comes to visit, you're going to see that, I promise you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you're standing there holding a picture. And this is another example of what you can do. And this is what you said, uh, is this art? I mean, this is this is hand drawing, right? This is hand done. Uh -huh. well, it it uh, is art because it's a lettering, but it is hand hand done. Every bit of it's done, but with a brush. And I wanted to say before we went to it, uh, on the eagle and the flag, where you put down on the bottom there, you said "God bless America," and you did touch on it that it was freehand, not a stencil. Right. And so I want folks to understand that that right. um, it's just an amazing talent by this young man. He's great at it. And again, let's give the phone number right now so people can call you and get a print if they'd like to. 423-538-8568. And the answering machine is on all the time, so leave a message and we'll get back to you. Okay, now I wanted to be sure that you folks could know how to contact Earl to get a print. And again, go to YouTube and search Earl Rose Art, and you can see a bunch of the shows that he's done. Uh, the teaching, really, uh, he does, um, we do four shows a month. Uh, or five, depending on how many right. uh, Mondays are. I think they showed on, uh, on Monday over. Thanks to the folks, by the way, uh, Dr. Ernie Binko and all the folks at ARC TV over in Norton. Yeah. ARC TV Productions, because they show Earl's um, show, Earl Rosart, on uh, ARC TV over in the coal fields, a couple of channels over there. Uh, I know in Wise County, um, Russell County, Scott, or not Scott County, but let's see, Wise, Russell, and I think Dickinson counties. And then of course over here, you can see the shows. Over here being the Tri-Cities area, uh, Houston Valley Broadcasting Corporation has a channel called Me Too. And if a lot of you have seen Me Too, you can see Earl's show, and um, they, they broadcast those very early Saturday morning, like uh, three o'clock, between three and five o'clock. If you're not out, I want to go stay up and watch it at the time, okay, if not, set your DVR and yeah. then look for Earl Rose Art. It is amazing. You'll really enjoy the show. Thank now, you, Jim. But before we run out of time, 
uh, I wanted to get to this. You started on it, and I'm sorry I interrupted you, but That's okay. uh, this is lettering, and tell us again what this is. This is, is hand lettering and gold leafing. Actually, this is a, a gold leaf that's laid right on the inside of the glass. This is the outside. And then I outlined it and then shattered it, and all of it's done by hand. Nothing, nothing's taped up or anything. It's all done by hand. This is what we're talking about. It's probably a dying art that they just don't use it anymore. We used to do this on all the fire trucks, on all the doctors and lawyers office because mm -hmm. they could afford it. They could afford it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me show you one more, Jim. I'll okay, bend sure. down just yeah, a second. That's fine. But uh, in case you've just joined us and wondering what I'm doing on the Matt Dollar Show, uh, let me mention again, Matt is very busy with uh, uh, the business that he operates, his day job, Goodfellas Flooring, and contact him if you're wanting some flooring for your home, your business, or wherever. Just contact him, Goodfellas, and uh, talk to Matt about it. I'm guest hosting for the Matt Dollar Show, and that's why I'm here. Um, well, now, let's continue with this on the lettering. This is amazing. Uh, and this is freehand, folks. I mean, yeah, it's not all, a stencil. All freehand. And this is my logo that uh, we put on some instruments that we had made. But all of this is done freehand with a, with a lettering brush. And we lay the gold on there. And this is a piece of walnut that my daughter gave me. Uh, now, one other thing I'll mention that we are going to start a class ah, probably in April. Yes. It's going to be a free art class and a free lettering class. So if you'd like to sign up, call 423-538-8568. Good point. And, and uh, now Earl, Earl mentioned that it's a free class, but you have to buy your own supplies. Exactly. And call Earl and he'll tell you what you need and where to get them. Exactly. All right. Okay, and um, again, that's a uh, couple months away, or well, about a month away in about April. A month, yeah. yeah, okay, not, not long. Either. That's right. Free art classes. So call Earl, and the phone number again, Earl. Uh, four two three five three eight eight five six eight. It'll also be advertised in the Bristol newspaper. Right now. Okay, all right. Free start. classes, but you'll have to buy your own materials. And again, like I said, Earl will tell you if you'll give him a call. Now, where are we? I don't think we're almost out of time for this show. Uh, this is just the first of a couple. Uh, right now, um, what are we going to see next here in the studio? Oh, behind you, you've got a sketch. Can I do you... have a sketch All there. Right. Uh, uh, that's actually, years ago when I were in the sign business, I painted a little guy on the side of my truck. Yeah. Painting signs. Okay. And I remembered that this is probably not the same looking guy, but <laughs> this is basically the same thing. Right, okay. And I'm going to paint it larger on a big canvas, four by eight, and put it on the face of the building up there. Oh, okay, good deal. We'll, and talk we, we'll probably film that. Yeah, and we'll talk about what he said, the building, in uh, just a moment. Right now, I want to see this sketch, okay? You want to get it for us? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, Earl, some good paintings, and I got out of the way because I wanted the folks to see the paintings, uh, not necessarily me. I mean, I hate that uh, people couldn't keep seeing me, but that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> but uh, that's amazing. And uh, again, um, you were talking about how, and I mentioned leading into showing it, uh, the way you come back and add stuff. Now, how does that work? I mean, once you do a painting, uh, how do you go back and add something to it? Well, it has to be something that goes along with the same theme that you painted, mm -hmm. you know, you can't uh, add just anything arbitrarily in there. It has to be something that maybe will add to that painting, you know. Uh -huh. I have one painting that I've probably worked on for eight years. <laughs> really? Yeah. Eight years? Yeah. Well, does that mean you just added something every day, every week or something for eight years? Uh, well, actually what I did with this particular painting is add more detail each time. Uh -huh. to it. And, uh, done overlay paintings with it, with thinner paint that you could see the, through it. And, yeah. Uh, so, uh, well, now, I was going to ask you, uh, when you do a painting, can you do something in a painting, as they call 3D? Uh, is that possible to do an oil painting like that? Uh, be, I, I'm guessing very difficult. I've never experimented with anything like that. The closest thing I ever got to it is, I, I used to do a lot of portraits. And just painting portraits that look real. Yeah, know, right. Maybe look. Yeah. Maybe look 
Like, think, think 3D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, now, uh, we are going to talk about some other stuff in, in just a moment. Uh, you do lettering and you've done some stuff. Is there anything else that you want to show with? Oh, what about the eagle? Okay. Now, that is my favorite of all of them. Like That's I said. a good example because we were talking earlier about painting and then adding the lettering to a painting. Yeah. And that, that one would show exactly what we mean by adding. That adds to your painting. Uh -huh. So if you can paint and letter too, you can use both of those traits in the okay. same painting. All right. Yeah. Now, you mentioned earlier we've been taping your shows probably I don't know, 15, 16 years. This is my all-time favorite, the oh. eagle. The eagle with the American flag, that oh, is you. it. And that, that is America. Thank you. Right. And, uh, now, I've talked about it. I'm going to get out of the way again so that you can actually, folks can see the painting and not me. But I'll be back. Uh, don't fret. Don't worry. Uh, I'll be back in just a moment. But right now, um, why don't you just show us the eagle, okay? Okay, I will be glad to do that, yes. Jim, this is the one we were talking about. This is a... Uh, Original painting, of course, of the eagle with the flag behind it, and I wanted the flag to be flowing in the wind. Uh, but the, one other thing that I might add was this lettering is painted by hand. It's not, you know. So this is something I was talking about earlier that I learned to letter, and uh, we were in the sign business for a long time. And we'll talk about that later, maybe. But anyhow, I can also letter, and I think it's important for an artist if you really want to, uh, you know, capture everything in the scene. If you learn to letter, it really will help you out a lot. Anyhow, we'll be right back after this. Okay, this is just a sketch of the little guy that I was talking about, maybe putting on a sign up at the building. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of sketching here, and the reason I'll do this, you probably can't see most of my sketch. And uh, just a little bit, not much. Anyhow, that'll give you some idea of basically what, what it will be like. Jim, I wanted to show you one more uh, sketch that actually we're planning on doing when we start the uh, art shows back again. And I wanted to do a, a picture of Jesus' birth or something pertaining to that. So I drew, sat down and drew this picture of Mary and I thought that would make a nice painting with her holding the baby Jesus. But then I got to thinking that uh, there's another person that's really important in this, and it was Joseph. Now Joseph, uh, Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but uh, he didn't know she was pregnant with Jesus. So he was actually going to put her away. And what actually that means they would stone you if you uh, got pregnant out of, out of wedlock. And, uh, but he, uh, Angel came to him and told him to go ahead and take Mary. So I thought, well, I better put him in there. So then I done this sketch. And then that's just a rough sketch. Then I done a better sketch. This is the finished sketch. Now, I'll walk over to the board and come with me. This is almost the finished sketch. When I say almost, uh, if you notice, Joseph is sort of bending over a little bit. Well, I've got this wrong. If he was bending over, it would have to go this way. So I'll have to erase that, redraw that. One other thing that I find real interesting there's a lot of debate on where Jesus was born in the winter time or the summertime. Uh, if you notice the shoes here, uh, 
I've got a shoe on one foot, and I've got a sandal on the other one. If you guys want to write in and tell me which what you believe it really was, that might help me out a great deal, okay? But anyhow, we will change that when we do the painting. It'll, it'll probably be the shoe or the, and the sandal. More likely it'll be the shoe, because we believe that the uh, sheep folded in the summer, spring and summer, and then dropped their fold in the winter. And actually the uh, shepherds would have been out in the field uh, watching over their sheep, so when they dropped the fold that the wolves couldn't get them. That's when the star came to them and uh, the angel came and told them of Jesus' birth. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy this and Jim will come over here and talk to us some and, and we've got one more thing to show you. Okay, I'm back. All right, and I wanted to get out of the way again so the folks can see you sketching. It's amazing what you can do. Well, thank you. And uh, again, I, I keep telling you folks, go to YouTube, search <laughs> Earl Rosark, and look at all of the fantastic uh, paintings that he has done. Thank you, Jim. And um, by the way, phone number one more time if somebody would like to have a print. 423-538-8568. And we have the answering machine on all the time. And just leave a message and we'll get back to you. And call that same number to sign up for free art lessons Thank coming you. up in a few weeks uh, in yeah, April. Probably in April we'll start that. Now. And again, the lessons are free, but you have to buy your own materials. And exactly. Earl will tell you all about that if you'll call him. Now, let's do this one before we run out of time. And this is uh, probably 99.9% .9 favorite of a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. I know Matt Dollar will like it. Matt, I, we appreciate you having us on your show, and we appreciate Jim uh, uh, interviewing us. This is a painting that we've done, and we've done this on the show. But now yeah. I did not totally finish it on the show. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I didn't like some of the techniques that I put in it, yeah. so I went back. And this is a pretty well finished painting now, except one other thing I'm going to do. I've got some silver leaf order. Mm -hmm. And when I get the silver leaf in, I'm going to take each one of these little blings and put a little dot of silver leaf on them. And I believe it'll really show up good. And we'll show you again when we do that. When you do that. When I'm, okay. <laughs> we'll probably see that on, uh, on another show, on, on an Earl Rose Art show. Probably will. Really. Okay. All right. Well, listen, this has been great. I've enjoyed it. Um, I can't do all I want to do in one show, so I'll tell you that I'll be back next week on the Matt Dollar Show and do some more. And in the meantime, I want to say thank you to Earl for oh, letting us come into the studio. It's an honor. And uh, again to Ernie Binko, Dr. Ernie Binko and the folks yes. at ARC TV in Norton for uh, showing the, our Earl Rose art shows. We appreciate that. And uh, uh, again, I'm Jim Edwards substituting for Matt Dollar on the Matt Dollar Show. We'll see you again next week.